Opponents accuse Rifat al-Assad of overseeing the Hama massacre of 1982 when the Syrian army crushed a Muslim Brotherhood uprising, a charge he has denied. After allegedly leading a failed coup against his brother, then President Hafez al-Assad, Rifat was exiled to Europe. For three decades, Rifat al-Assad, a former vice president of the uh, Syrian regime, a man that many hold responsible for an, an atrocity at Hama in 1982 where uh, tens of thousands of people were butchered, has wandered around Europe on the ill-gotten gains that he has taken out of Syria. But that freedom could now be coming to an end. Spanish police last week raided houses belonging to the former vice president and his family. The courts ordered the seizure of more than 500 properties worth $740 million. Investigators believe Rifat al-Assad embezzled more than $300 million of state funds. Rifat al-Assad's family issued a statement saying they never benefited from financing that in any way wronged the Syrian people. In 2013, at the outset of the investigation in France, Rifat al-Assad's son said his father's fortune came from wealthy Saudi backers. The nature of the money was support from his friends, Rifat al-Assad's friends who believed in his opposition movement. Rifat al-Assad also owns this $12 million house in London's Mayfair district. Campaigners want Britain to follow Spain's lead and seize his property. Rifat al-Assad cannot be allowed to enjoy these billions whilst others are suffering. But opponents say London is renowned as a hub for so-called dirty money and it's doubtful Britain will make an exception of Rifat al-Assad. Are the British authorities prepared to sort of, as it were, go, go that one step further and, you know, put all criminals, all oligarchs who have got criminal money on notice, you know, we are after you? Or, you know, do we select one because they are temporarily, you know, the, the, the whipping boy of, of the West, um, name, namely as, Assad? British law also requires a conviction before property can be seized. For money laundering, for, for theft, for corruption, for some form of economic crime um, that where the authority can say the property was acquired with the proceeds of crime uh, and therefore they ought to be confiscated. New legislation in Britain allows courts to seize the assets of human rights abusers. But legal analysts say proving that Rifat al-Assad is responsible for past crimes would be extremely difficult without the cooperation of the Syrian government. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.